Hey guys, Faf Angry Prophet here with Matt from ArrowQuest. The yes. new and improved ArrowQuest and a new and improved Matt with a brand new hat. And he also wears pants now. So that's, I do. So that's I good. do. There's a court order. And uh, today we are playing Westerado Double Barreled and we are playing this on, uh, what was it called? Iron Man. Iron Man mode, meaning when we die, the... The save is deleted. So that sounds good. Now we remember what happened the last time we played a game <laughs> on uh, on a on a hard difficulty, wasn't it? The uh, the suicide difficulty on Oregon Trail. On Oregon yes. Trail, that didn't go well. That was that was a huge mistake. So uh, Matt, what do we do here? Okay, so basically, uh, th this game, I said I was going to stop saying basically, but anyway, this game started out on Adult Swim's website. I never played it over there. I only bought it when they brought it over to Steam, and basically it, I'm going to shoot myself. It's a murder mystery. You're, I skipped the intro c cinematic, but your ranch was burned down, and your mother and your brother were killed, and you start off with a clue about the guy who did it. And as you go through the game, you, as you do missions and things like that, people will give you more clues until you kind of get a clear picture of them, and then you can go around and you can accuse people. And if you get the right person, I haven't, I only went through this game once before, I don't know what happens if you get the wrong person, but if you get the right person, there's this uh, one kind of long final mission, so I honestly doubt we're going to make it, because this game is fairly difficult. Instead of a health meter, you have hats, and as you can see, I have three hats. When those are gone... The next shot I take, I'm dead. Um, you can shoot other people's hats off and take them and use that to regain your health, but most often it's it's just smart to just shoot first, keep shooting, and then don't worry about asking any questions. Well, this sounds good because my two favorite things to do are steal hats and accuse people of murder. This is one of the best Western games I have ever played. Um... Because it's very visceral. It's like, if you shoot somebody, they drop dead. That fat yeah. guy there looks really suspicious to me. Which one? Because he... Yeah, that guy. He's Irish. Well, all right. See, you can you can go ahead and accuse him, but I'm going to talk to him. His fiance is coming into town. His name is Clint Villian. Yeah, well, th this place is called Clintville, and... Uh, Founder of Clintville, oh. East Clintwood. Okay, I see what they're doing. So, anyway, you, you go to this town. It's kind of a... Should I help her? Why not? All right. Maybe we'll get a free hat. Th this is a very easy starter quest. My husband and a drunk never comes home and spends all our money on booze. Well, that sounds all right to me. That's... I mean, that's what I figured half <laughs> of this just, game was going to be. <laughs> There's no problem there. That, that fat man, that looked like There's that no... looked like Belushi from the Blues Brothers. Not that one, the there was a guy in a black suit. Oh. Are you sick of your clothes? What you getting at? <laughs> <laughs> Walking day in and day out with this Oh yeah, I forgot. You can you can change clothes in this game. Like your character has this kind of like uh what I would guess is like a Clint Eastwood get up. You can you can get different clothes, you get different hats. You can also unlock different characters. You, there's a there's a, a native, there's your brother, and then there's your sister. So okay, this woman was planning to visit her father's grave, and there's some bandits all over it. So we get to go shoot people. That sounds fun. All right. Every all the, okay, all of the men in this game look like criminals. There's the creepy man, right there, right back there. <laughs> That is, that's a blues brother. He's moving up into the mountains where it's cooler. How about you? Y'all are in a desert. But I'd prefer not to be the one roasting. He's moving to the mountains to get away from being a kid. There's all sorts of mountains, or all sorts in the mountains. Bandits, protection treasures, hired guns, packs of wild dogs. Oh, the packs of wild dogs and coyotes in this game are really annoying, by the way. If you see one, shoot it. <laughs> Can you just randomly like shoot people in town? Yes, you can. You can shoot. You can pull your gun in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It is. Um, you also have to. Uh, you have to reload manually. Like you have to hit the R button every time to reload a bullet. 
So it, it's it's very much like shooting a, a single action army and no other game. No, like Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Revenge, none of them have done that so far. All right, so they're up here going with my gun out. Ah, that guy's got a shotgun. That's not good. Wow, the, the gameplay just changed drastically. That guy's running. And... He's got a shotgun. That guy there is being a douche. And now he's dead. So yeah, this game is very, very fast-paced, very frenetic. Some of the best gunfights I've ever seen. I mean, really, it's all it, it's really good. I, I hope they they put out a sequel or they put out some DLC to this because, yeah, <laughs> I like it. All right. The graveyard is safe. All of the men in this game are really fat. <laughs> I know. All of the women look like prostitutes. All right, all right, all right. We've got a clue. He's got a bright red jacket. So let's see my clues. I guess it's not the blues, brother. He's definitely got a hat with an edged brim, and he's got a bright red jacket. So as you can see it flashing, there's a bunch of different combinations that this could this could be. I've seen no one in a red jacket yet. No. Um, Except that guy. Is that red? <laughs> and they, they occasionally twirl their guns from time to time. So, so yeah. that's He's got the wrong hat, I think. Uh, you are in a good... Oh, crap. His fiance come back. That's a different guy giving me the same story. Creepy! Okay, so we got to find a guy in a brimmed hat with a red jacket. That guy. Yeah. That guy right up there. That guy right there. <laughs> you want to accuse him? Let's accuse him. He looks, he looks suspicious. You're trying that on everyone, hoping for a reaction, aren't you? Hey, he okay. fits the description. Nothing. He he does, but we know it's not him. So let's go. Uh, you can, you can get these wanted posters. You can go hunt these people down. Um, so we've got. Let's see. Wanted Bandit, last seen around Clintonville. There's, uh, if you see people outside of town in this game, and they're not, this is going to sound really sexy, but if they're not women, and they're not on a farm, you should probably shoot them, because they'll probably try and kill you. Like, hey, I think, hey, that guy's wearing red. And he ran away when you approached him. What did I do exactly? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta have it. It might not trigger until you have all of the all of the evidence. I don't know these guys. It was both of you. It was all all five of you. It was all oh, eight of you. <laughs> they are they are all wearing red jackets. Maybe if I shoot enough, I'll get both of them. You just gunned down an entire gang. I did. You got something to say about that? No. All right. Oh, uh, crap. That's what I mean by coyotes. He's... I shot him, and then the box fell on him. Well, excellent. <laughs> this is this has been a good day so far. Hey, there's a bunch get... of money behind that bush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Money and shooting things. That's what I like. And you can shoot the buffalo, too, by the way. Yeah, for some reason, people in this game... Like, I, I'm pretty sure this game was developed by uh, Scandinavian developers, judging by some of the names I've seen. I don't know if they don't realize that people in in the West in the 19th, cent 19th century um, raise cattle instead of buffalo. But people in this game raise buffalo for reasons. I mean, I guess it would be good because, I mean, there's a lot of meat on them and there's a lot of stuff you can get off of them, but mostly the the Westerners just made the buffalo almost go ex extinct. <laughs> Alright, this guy's a farmer, so I'm not going to shoot him. Maybe he, if he needs help, he might have a clue. Is he... is that considered red? No, it's... I don't think it's him. If, if, I don't think it's... if they've got a name, I, don't, I think they're innocent. I gotta get these buffalo on the road and sold before they all run off. Can I help? Let's go. Alright. 
So what we're going to have to do here is we're on a horse and we're going to have to shoot these bandits from horseback. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Th this is less insane. Oh, crap! I shot one of his buffalo on accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you... If you... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. See, I lost a hat. That's that, okay. That was a good hat. You're a man who wears many hats. All of the okay, buffalo he, are he, dying. He got him with a... Uh, yeah, we're not going to get paid much for this. Crap! I got to get out while I'm still alive. I like how when you shoot one of them... They fall off. We're near the fort. They have to run. And the horse just runs in place. <laughs> Darn it. We got to get out of here. All right. Wouldn't have been able to save those. I owe you a lot. Oh. Oh. You don't have to get them all. I did, the last time I did this, I got paid the same amount. Know something about the man who burned in it. it. Stays between us. Knows how to dress himself. White slacks and colored shirt. Compliment his skinny figure. It is not the fat people, Brian. Well, that narrows it down, because all of them are fat. <laughs> he was working for the oil tycoon when he attacked this dude's ranch. So we got a skinny guy with white pants and a red jacket. Okay, oh, that's the other bandit. All right, that is narrowed it down. We got to get a bandana, we got to get a belt, and we got to get, like, what style hat specifically. Okay, and we have uh, $580. Which is enough to buy the rifle or the shotgun or the uh, or the twin revolvers. So I'm gonna go buy a different weapon. I'm leaning towards the rifle because it can shoot through people and get like two people with one shot. But the dual revolvers are handy because they oh you, they allow you to shoot in both directions. But, oh, uh, you gotta check this guy out, Rancher Cobb. How you doing there, feller? It's great to hear. This was really interesting, but I'm going now. You want something more interesting? Just pull your gun on me. And he doesn't specify, but you have to do it when you're in conversation or else he'll just try and murder you. Here we go. And he's got a shotgun. So. <laughs> yeah, you shoot his hat off. Okay. That guy seemed way too willing to get in a gunfight. <laughs> he was. And he had a shotgun, too. That thing will mow you down at close range. All right. That woman, like, chasing you. Yeah, they, oh, they all, all kinds of people. run around at some point. Yeah, we're, we're in town. We just... Okay. Oh, that package looked interesting. I thought I could grab it. White pants, blue jacket. All right. Uh, Saloon. We need to go to the store, which is this way. All right. Store, 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 store. Oh, crap. Where's the store? I think it's down here. Oh, you wanna... Station... The store is up here. Alright, so we got... The bowl is just kind of stun people. I'm looking to kill people. So we've got the rifle, the shotgun, or the two revolvers. I'm Like I said, I'm leaning towards the rifle. I, I don't want to go with the shotgun because it's, the range is too short. So what do you think, Brian? Um, the rifle. rifle. All right. How much does that cost? Seven hundred. Oh crap! I guess we're not gonna buy that. Uh, sorry, I changed my mind. Okay, well we can afford the shotgun. I'm gonna go with the twin pistols. Five hundred dollars. I'll buy it. All right. You can buy new clothes and a new hat. Yeah, I need a new hat. I think I can afford a hat. Regular hat, fifty dollars. All right. Yeah, it's it's really difficult to shoot the hats off of people and live to get and pick them up so you can <laughs> regenerate. All right. So basically, like I said, the the twin revolvers allows you to shoot in different directions, and I, I like them. I like them quite a bit because I like I like the uh, you know the the two guns. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Um, I have yet to see a man in white. That, there's white. No, nope, he's, he's wearing orange. Brown. Yeah. Alright. Let's go west. 
Go west, young man. Go west. This guy looks shady. I am. Based on what? <laughs> Alright, I should go talk to the sheriff. Whatever. I already accused that guy, so... I can't accuse him anymore, I don't think. I really should stop running. <laughs> I don't think very many Old West heroes ran. I think if we find somebody in a red jacket and white pants, that's pretty much the the guy we're looking for. Because I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> Probably. Alright. Rancher Bobs. We've seen Rancher Bob. Bye, Rancher Bob. Um, crap, I thought I could go west. Um, I guess I'll go north. Hmm. Yeah. Can I? Okay. Probably going to run into a lot of wild dogs here. Oh, we're going to run into some wild people. Oh, crap. Went off the screen. All right, let's reload. I got him. Now this guy dropped some cash. I think so. This guy dropped some cash. Luckily, you don't have to buy ammo, so... That's oh yay! Nice yay! I shot that coyote in celebration. Maybe we should have waited. Also, this thing—it's uh, part of like a buffalo totem quest uh, to help the natives out. It's okay. I gotta go back south. Going south. Maybe we'll find Leonard Skinner. We're going south. Perhaps. That criminal... Oh, Oil tycoons. This is where he was working. Well, he was working here in the past when he burned down Rancher Bob's place, not when he burned down my place. I'm going to see if the oil tycoon needs any help, though. He's got to have a lot of money. Yeah, basically one of the plots of this game is that oil has just been discovered, so this is probably maybe the early, very early 20th century, I want to say. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can kind of just waltz right in and see this big important guy. Just work with what you got. Plenty of land, you make it last. Yada, yada, yada. He just got a gun pulled on him. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to this feller. Got a job. Not for a low life like you. So does my grandmother. What a douche. Do you think I should take that crap off of him? I think you should shoot him right in the face. That's the cool thing in this game, is that any character, no matter how important, can be killed. Right off the bat. And I'm gonna take his stuff. Well, this was a great idea. This was. Now we just gotta get out alive. There's money behind his chair. Yay. I think Give we're, me I think, the money. I think the we're gonna go get money. that other gun. Oh, oh, oh. See, this is why the dual revolvers come in handy. Very much so. Very, very much uh, so. This is not good. I shot off his hat. Hats. Hats and money. That'd be cool if you could just go take those guns off the wall. Well, Brian, I would call this venture a success, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes, I would. Now we just gotta get back. Oh, crap. Oh, oh no. Not you know, I'm just running. It's not a success yet. I don't know. Don't oh, crap! I'm out of ammo! I'm out of ammo! You're out of ammo? <laughs> How did I run out of ammo so fast? Oh, jeez. Go grab that money and leave. Not yet. I don't okay. like to, I don't like to leave any loose ends untied. Did anybody die in the top room? Do any money? I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't think they did. I don't think they did. But I'm gonna go back and oh, the corpses are gone. I was gonna go back and see if I could wee on his corpse. <laughs> oh, I forgot. This isn't postal two. All right, I'm gonna come out of this place guns a blazing. I think I, I think I killed them all. <laughs> You've killed everyone that works at this place. All right. Well, uh, I've created a time paradox because in this universe now, you know, the oil boom never gets started, so we never have cars or anything like that. Hey, that guy, 
that that guy was wearing a red jacket and white pants. I'm about to be dead. Quickly. There we go. Is it possible that the guy you shot up there was the person you're looking for? I suppose, but I think it's more of a scripted thing that you found. I don't know. It could be. Could be. All right, I'm going to take this horse to fast travel back to town and go buy a bunch of hats. <laughs> That's uh, the only use for the horses that you find in this game are, uh, are a fast travel system. Oh, man, this is the best game of this yet. I mean, playing it on Iron Man is, is making my heart race. I'm going to get a 10-gallon hat. Another hat just like it. Another hat just like it. So what's the difference in the hats there? I think it's just style. See? Because, you know, I killed and murdered the oil baron. Now I'm living the high life. Say, so, now that I'm living the high life, do you want to go play some poker? Why not? All right. I'm no good at poker, but, you know, that's what people with a lot of money to burn really quick do. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> We have $530 to go give to someone else. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I might win enough. I can go buy the rifle. Where's the saloon concern it? There we go. I still haven't hunted that bounty yet. Uh, I did this last night, so we're going to jump in. I got plenty of money to burn here. <laughs> Brian, you know I have no idea what I'm doing. I know how to play, and we have a terrible hand. We do. <laughs> um, what, should, what should I discard? Oh, God. Discard the nine. Discard the six and the seven. Anything else? No. Keep those. Okay. That's still not good. I don't care. I've got money to blow up. Um, go ahead and fall. I checked. I lost some money there. Should I play again? Yes. All right. We're going to win a hand. Three, four, eight, nine, two. Gear. Do I got anything? Uh, no. Fold. Fold. <laughs> Are right, oh. you getting sick of this yet? No. <laughs> Play no, we, we, got, we, can, we can lose some more. Play no, let's lose some more money. Five, nine, two, six, eight. Better hand? Uh, get rid of the... T get rid of the diamonds. Well, I gotta check first. I guess. Alright, get rid of the diamonds, you said? Yeah, cough. Cough, cough five. Five. Yeah, get rid of the... The nine and the six. And let's hope that we get some hearts. Keep the rest. No! Ah. Fold. Uh, uh, hmm. Call 30. <laughs> We're a gambler. Put on the poker face. Man, I have the song Doc Holiday about Volbeat stuck in my head right now. Oh, that's a great song. Oh. It was worth a shot. <sighs> all right, let's go. Now let's shoot them all out of anger. No, 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 no. Wait. He's got a clue. Well, that's convenient. Burgundy bandana on his face. Who wears burgundy in the Old West? Seriously, did they have burgundy back then, or was it just, you know... It's like, can you imagine Lee Van Cleef walking into a store and he goes, I want a burgundy bandana. That's my best Lee Van Cleef voice. That was good, wasn't it? I, I you, you don't know who Lee Van Cleef is. I know the name, but that's all I know. <laughs> all right, folks, we're going to have to pause here while I beat the hell out of Brian with a Colt forty-five. And we're back. <laughs> Brian, you know who Lee Van Cleef is now. Yes. Okay, good. All right. I don't think I don't think Lee Van Cleef or Clint Eastwood or, or Eli Wallach ever ever had a burgundy bandana. They probably went with red because they were real men. Thank you kindly. All right. What else do we need to find out about this guy? The shape of his hat. The shape of his hat and his belt. 
That's not burgundy, that's red. Look, his bandana is blending into his jacket. <sighs> Alright. Let's go let's go hunt this this bounty right now. Let's go back to the oil tycoon. Where no one is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was my crowning moment in this game, is getting out of there alive. That is always a good gunfight. You should just go shoot the oil tycoon. It's the first thing you should do, and just get all his money and buy another gun. Alright, is there a horse anywhere? Okay, there's not. I'm just gonna go go a wandering. I don't think that the enemies respawn in this game. So I think we're we're pretty safe. See yeah, the corpses are still there. Oh, and you can actually see like buzzards come and eat the corpses sometimes. It's it's uh it's really nasty. Oh man, that, that song is still stuck in my head and it's an awesome, awesome song. You know they opened with that when I saw them a couple years ago. Oh, these guys are dead too. Santa Ana. Let's go west to Santa Ana. Like, There's a dude coming towards me. Oh, well, that's is that him? He, no, he's, he didn't have a red bandana. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, I got the squirt. When they when you kill them, they go into the ground. Shoot the vulture. Okay, now I'm satisfied, and kill that dog because he. It's looks a coyote, like, Brian. He's coming coyote. at you. Coming at me loud, like testament. Go ahead and kill that guy just because he looks enough like the guy we're looking for. You vaguely resemble the killer. You know, I'm basically becoming a serial murderer at that point. Abandoned town. Uh, hmm. Crap. Shotgun. Flawless victory. It seems very... Hey, there's money over there. Tis, isn't there? Um. Oh, crap. There's money laying everywhere in this town. It's because these bandits have been using it as a hideout. Can you, like, just... See, I got stung by a scorpion. And he's going to keep stinging me. Ball sack. Yeah, I know. Um, can you destroy, like, barrels and whatnot? I don't know. No. You know, we have enough to get a rifle. You shot whatever was on top of it. Oh, I did, didn't I? Um... <sighs> and there's no hat laying around. Still, the hats fly away very quickly. But it was abandoned. There's more money! Upper right. Oh, yay! There's also more scorpions. We have enough for the for the rifle, and Yay! we go get the rifle. We can get a rifle and a new hat. Okay, where are we at? Oil field. Hey, since I killed the oil tycoon, should I just shoot all these guys? I mean, what else would you do? I mean, I want to end the oil industry. So, well, you've you've upset them by shooting their gate, and they're they're all just running from you. Yeah, they're probably innocent people, but at this point, I don't care. Uh, and that girl's got a shotgun. Oh, cr I was about to say what? something. I think a scorpion got her. <laughs> Crap! Reload. Get the hat. Going into the mine. <laughs> Safety in the mine. While I reload, I really should have bought the rifle. <laughs> There's a noose in that tree. Yeah, this is, is the old West Brian. They have a hanging every Sunday. It really seemed like there were more people out here. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, right, let's let's go. I know there's a horse. Or, there's a horse in an abandoned town for some reason. So we're gonna go back. And we're going to get the rifle. So, Brian, what do you think of this game? Scale of 1 to 10. Mm. Oh, crap. More bad guys. I'm going to run from this one. I'm going to come back when I have the rifle. I think I saw the guy. You may have. 
I don't think the I think the guy is randomly walking around in town is the thing because you you can't talk to those thugs that just harass you wherever you go. I'll buy the rifle. All right, I've bought me a rifle, and there's fewer shots, but you get really long range, and it's pretty powerful. Regular hat. All right. We got a hat. We got us another hat. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna shoot those guys for shooting at us. I saw a guy in a red jacket and white pants. Well, and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of some business. There he is, right there. You just shot him in the face. Actually, we're gonna need my pistols for that one. When a man with a rifle meets a man with a shotgun, bad things happen to one of them. That was my Clint Eastwood impression. Scott Randolph. Yeah, uh, you've seen Blazing Saddles, haven't you? It's been a long time. And I put my hat over my chest for Randolph Scott. I, I can't You really... do it for Randolph Scott. What? You do it for Randolph Scott. I'm... Randolph Scott! I have not seen that movie in for. Ever. <laughs> Hold on for a minute, folks. I gotta beat up Brian again. <laughs> oh, that's over with. <sighs> Jeez. You know, that might have been... <laughs> was that one of the people I was supposed to be after? I don't know. <laughs> I think I killed him and <laughs> I didn't realize it. Screw it. Hey, there's money over behind that fence. Money fence. Yeah, but uh, there's another there's a buffalo thing thingy too. I gotta shoot the lock on the gate. Isn't this wonderful to have a game where you can just shoot the locks and not have to worry about a key? I don't know what happens if you collect all those, because um, I've, I've never done it before. I have unlocked the the native dude somehow, and he was really cool because he he starts with a Fort uh, Motors. Yeah, he starts with a uh, tomahawk. Um. Which has infinite, it's like, it's a throwing weapon, but it never needs to be reloaded. So it's kind of got an advantage. It's pretty cool when you learn to hit with it. Okay, this guy can't help me. I know you can go, there's one mission where you have to steal this guy's buffalo, though. It's pretty fun. Alright, let's, uh... What do we have to do to figure out the other two things? I think you just have to, have to do some, do some questing. Um... You just want to shoot this guy instead of shooting the hat off his head. Uh, why not? Well, <laughs> feeling a bit evil today. Why not just murder everyone? Seriously? <laughs> sort of. I tell you what, let's go help this woman out, and she'll—I think she'll give us another clue. I'll go get him. Where is he supposed to be? He's he's hanging around in the bar getting drunk. He's this dude right here. She asked me to bring you home. Just come along, you're going home. Alright, so what you do here is you talk to him again, and you hit J to draw a gun, and point a rifle right at his face at point-blank range. <laughs> now, everybody's got their guns drawn, but he'll, well, he'll come with me now. You gotta do what works. Yeah, that's a lesson for you, kids. If please doesn't work, pull out a gun. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna go chew out the sheriff for me. And I think I get a clue from this mess. Alright. So what do you want, kid? I'm looking for the man who murdered my family. He does not do vendettas. He definitely does not. All I can give you is a clue. He wears a tan belt with a small silver buckle. Rancher Bob has been having troubles. I already talked to Rancher Bob, so all right. All right. We just need we just need a we need we need a hat style. I'm gonna go talk to this lady, see if she has a clue.
Alright, get get in the way of that woman so she can talk to me. Okay. Alright, she's she's holding a hat for us if I ever need a hat. So I don't know, I'm gonna go talk to the bartender. Maybe he'll have a clue. Need some info. Mm. Heard anything about raids? Anything about who done it? Alright, we already we already played cards. So, um, let me see. Are there any more people? Oh, there, there's something with a train station that you can do, because the trains aren't running. You can go, um, I think you can go fix that somehow. Oh, crap. Oh, here we go. I keep going off the screen. I can't see myself. Okay, here I am. Station. Train timetable. Then I'll rake you over the coals for every cent they're wasting. What are you doing here then? There's no trains to sell tickets for her and play solitaire. <laughs> Do not talk to the train master. She keeps trying to get the trains running again. She'd ruin my peace and quiet if I didn't divert all her mail. <laughs> well, that's exactly who we need to talk to. All right. He's been diverting your mail. <laughs> Did you fart? I did. I chuckled it on out of there. If I beat him anymore, I think he'll. I don't think he'll. He'll. He'll be able to handle it. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna get an earful for me. All right. <laughs> Paid all this time with trains not coming into town, and they don't even know it. Yeah, you keep on grumbling. You ain't touching my mail anymore. You're taking half pay from. <laughs> oh, jeez. There was a suspicious cave-in at the train tunnel. I think somebody was behind it. Set off an explosion there and got the beefhead bull bandits to scare away anyone who gets near. Oh, you're the kid. I might know something you see then. Fearful man with a tall edged hat going across the desert with smoke tailing out of the mountain. If you scare off the beef heads, I'll look up some more information. I don't so think I we a... need more information. No, we don't. Uh, oh, yeah, we got we one do. one more narrowed down. Okay. Um, this is the glory day. Clear the beef heads out of the train tunnels to the west. Okay. All right. Um, sounds like a good plan, Brian. You ready to ride? Yep. And shoot some people. Did you see that? I got a buzzard with one shot and a dude. And that dude shot my hat off. How rude. I showed him, didn't I? Indeed you did. Alright. More scorpions. More dudes. They're all just like lying. Ah! Oh, I got it before it blew away. They were all just like lining themselves up, up to be shot by you. They were suicidal. Oh, here's the here's the train station. Let's walk in with my rifle. Reload my two pistols. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a whole system of mines and tunnels to explore in this game. It's pretty cool. If you like dungeon crawling. That's uh oh my god. Did you see that? <laughs> you just killed them all with one <laughs> shot. Except the first guy. I'm speechless. Just... That was a miracle. That was a miracle. I forgot I shouldn't run. He'll put up his gun. Hmm. Did I did I do that job? Because I cleared out half. Oh, more of them are holed up in the upper mines. Okay. Just all of those guys with one shot. All of them. Did you see that? I saw. Did, it. did you see it? I did see it. Did you believe it? Well. 
<laughs> that was a bad idea. Oh, uh, they were all like lined up again. Oh, jeez. Oh, poopy. Poopy caca. There you go. They were trying to steal my glory. Let's talk to this dude. The greatest man alive. Oh, it's a portrait. I thought it was a guy in a, in a booth. <laughs> and I got a hat. I wiped out the beef, the beef head bulls and the train tunnels. Well, this has been an interesting day. You know, this has like been one whole day, and I've killed like a thousand people. Just, man, and I'm right back to where I where I was meaning to go. This is this is excellent. This is this is smexcellent, Brian. It's it's smexcellent. Time to find the killer. Time to find him, indeed. I, I, even if we find him, I don't think we're gonna survive the the mission to actually kill him. If I do, I'll be amazed because it's it's fairly difficult. Where's the station? Okay, train station down here. Station. Found a loose page on the tunnel bomber. Have an edged hat. It was also wide and tall, and that's where it ends, unfortunately. And they've taken off. I'm not a people person. This one ain't for me. Okay. No, I've got to go find a murderer. That's him. All right, let's hunt him down. I'm gonna go wander around town until we find this. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was amazing. Hey, now, the heat seems to be getting to you. What are you accusing me of doing? Tell you this. I know it couldn't have been me. I don't think I've ever killed a man's brother. Ha, huh. all right. Bang, you got me. Holy crap. Yeah, this is, this is where it, it gets difficult. This is, yeah. It's not only are there bandits to deal with, there's also a crap ton of scorpions. I like how he was just, conveniently, he was just hanging outside. It's like, you know, if I, in reality, I could have just shot him with a rifle from that range and, and that would have been the end of it. But no, it's got to be video game logic, you know. Yeah, see what I meant by uh, scorpions everywhere? Scorpions, scorpions everywhere. I got two of them. I think I got three of them. All right, murderer. Are you talking to me or him? Him. Okay. Yeah, this is... This this is just the beginning. Trust me. Ah! <laughs> you, you see why I don't like these scorpions? You have no hats. I have no hats. This is the end. I need to lure that scorpion out to where it's it's shootable. It's it's. I'm scaring it away. I'm trying to lure you over here, dumbass. Come on, you scorpion. Watch me die trying to play chicken. With this. Okay, I got him. Was there only one over there? I hope so. Uh, All right, I gotta go through this other side. There's different paths through this thing. I should have bought a hat before I, I am. Can I shoot him from over here? I can't shoot him from over here. I can't do anything from over this way. All right, mines map. Okay, I'm not on the mines. It's not. Well, this is going to end well. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost and I've gone to look for myself. How do you... God, shoot that. I can't shoot the switch. Okay. 
He's he, he's raring to go, but you can't shoot up or down in this game. You can only shoot horizontally. Is anything over here? I am confused. I'm very confused. Hold on a minute. I know I can turn up the brightness. Huh. Okay, I have turned up the brightness and now I can kind of see. <laughs> and there's still nowhere to go. <laughs> Down. Oh, did I come from here or did I come from... Oh. Ah. Uh... Oh, so close and so far. Okay, so you came from... <laughs> I came. Here we go. This is where we need to be. Ah, uh, that's no good. What are you talking about? Well, that was that was a dead another dead guy in there with a money bag <laughs> laying on top of him. It's gonna be useless because I don't think I can go back. Yeah, this is this is a really kind of boring and silly ending. Money and more money to, to this game. Yeah, uh, sweet. They should just let you shoot it out, and that would that would be perfect. But no, you got to go through this whole boss dungeon thing. <sighs> Monies that I'm not gonna have any need of, and now he's gone. Uh huh. Yeah, now it comes to. Oh God! You better move, move, move. I got it! I got it! I got it! Good, good. You needed it. Okay. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Keep in. I think there's crap. Do you gotta go in each of those? Wide edge brim. Um, if you fail, yeah. Have fun with him, boys. He's been. Oh, I got the right one. Oh, I thought the guy you killed was the murderer. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this, this doesn't end here. <sighs> oh. Let me pull out my pistols. Oh man. Oh no. Is this the end? Not quite. Probably. Oh, probably, yeah. Come on. Oh. This is getting dangerously close. No. No. Game over. Save is gone. Oh, we came so far. Oh, crap. No more Iron Man for me. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that hurts. When when we try to be bold, it that never hurts. really goes well. That hurts so much. I just knocked my hat off. And... Your other save is gone. It got yeah, rid of everything. I, yeah, I know. I cleared that. Before, oh, so I could start a new game entirely. Oh, all right, folks. I think that's it for West Dorado for right now, and that was an awesome playthrough, if I do say so myself. I had a lot of fun with that. That's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> all right, so um, plug your channel. Yeah, I've I've moved channels. Uh, not that anybody watched the past one. Uh, my my new channel is ArrowQuest, and there's some there's a series on there called the Sandbox Monologues, where I play sandbox games and talk about different different random topics or just have fun with it. Um, and I'm I'm this spring and summer, God willing, I've got a new camera. I'm hopefully going to be uploading some awesome archery videos. So uh, be looking out for that. So yeah, go and uh, and subscribe and watch his channel and all of that. And, uh, yeah, that, that was, uh, Westerado. It was pretty eventful. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that. And, um, yeah. Always carry an extra hat. Always carry an extra hat.